Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Final Fantasy VII Remake. This time, I'm going to show you how to take down the first boss of the game, the Scorpion Sentinel, better known as the Guard Scorpion from the original game. This boss is fairly easy, but if you enter the fight with less than full health, and you're below half health like I was, uh, you're in for a nasty surprise, because the boss can dish out quite a bit of damage very quickly, especially if you're not paying attention. The boss is weak to lightning damage, so I recommend switching over to Barret, building up his ATB, and casting Thunder as many times as possible, but you should also leave some room to cast Cure. Additionally, the boss is very susceptible to charge attacks, so you can build up Stagger on him fairly quickly. You also want to try to uh, build up Barret's overcharge ability. You can do that by using it and then mashing Triangle to sort of rev up his gun and charge it faster. Unfortunately, this does mean that Barret cannot do any other damage uh, while he's charging it up, but it's still good to do. After you deal a decent amount of damage to the boss, it will jump onto the wall, and then you just gotta switch over to Barret as he's the only one who can reach him at this point. Although Cloud can cast Fire, but it's kind of a waste of MP, because it's not really gonna do much. The boss can bind uh, one of your party members, and in order to free him, you need to just attack and deal as much damage as you can. I recommend casting Thunder when this is happening, because it will immediately break the bind, uh, because the boss is weak to it. After you deal about 15 to 20 percent damage to the boss or if you just stagger him the boss will switch over to the other side of the platform and i recommend switching over to cloud at this point because you need to break the barrier by finding the weak point the weak point is behind the boss and it is the field generator as you will see while the boss has its guard up it will do a big aoe lightning attack however the area in which it is doing that aoe lightning attack is quite obvious and you can dodge out of it just after it does that aoe damage uh, it will also do a stomp attack that also does lightning damage. This is what I mean, like the boss can dish out quite a bit of damage very quickly if you're not paying attention, which admittedly, I wasn't. Uh, this boss was pretty easy in the demos, so I just kind of assumed it was the same thing. It has all the same attacks, but I think it may do a little bit more damage than before. Maybe I just entered the fight with less health than I thought I did. But in any event, once you deal some more damage to the boss, it will latch onto the wall, and you kind of just rinse and repeat this process where you want to attack the weak point to break the shield, although when you are near the boss trying to break the shield, it will use an AoE ability. So you gotta be very, very careful with what you're doing. When the boss starts firing rockets, you want to just back up and block. If you are playing with Barret, you can use his Steel Skin ability, and this will make it so you can still fire all of your weapons, all of your skills, and you will not get interrupted. You'll still take damage, but you won't get interrupted. This is really, really important when you're trying to use Overcharge or you're trying to cast Thunder. Uh, you want to make sure that you have Steel Skin up. This way you don't get interrupted. It's very, very useful for this fight because of everything that's going on. When the boss gets to around 70% health, it'll jump onto the wall again and then you just switch over to Barret, deal some more damage, rev up your Overcharge, and just try to get it off there. Additionally, you can cast Thunder while it's here, but I noticed it didn't take as much damage as before. So you may want to take this opportunity to cure using Barret or use some potions or something. As you can see here, my uh, steel skin ran out, so I was starting to get interrupted. And you do want to uh, bring that back as soon as you can. It only costs one ATB charge, and it's fairly easy to build charges with Barret in this fight. Eventually, the boss will kind of get tired of you, and it will jump the platform again, and this will cause it to start wanting to use its tail laser. So this will happen around 50% health. And unfortunately, when you, uh, you know, fully stagger this boss, you don't get to deal a lot of bonus damage to it before it runs away. So it's kind of frustrating to just you know, deal all that posture damage, pressure it, get it staggered, um, and then, you know, it's kind of all for naught because it's just going to run away. Uh, if you're not quick enough dealing enough damage to get it down to 50%, it will bring out the shield again. And at this point, you need to move around back, attack the weak point, uh, and just do your best to, to break the shield. It'll eventually turn red, dissipate, and uh, that's kind of your opportunity to break it and start dealing regular damage again. When the shield is up, I do not recommend casting Thunder. Uh, unfortunately, I just had no idea that this was going to be completely immune to Thunder. I did try to use Thunder on the weak point, and it just said immune, so you probably just have to stick with melee or gunshots or just regular attacks or even just regular abilities. No magic at that point. Once it reaches 50%, it will latch onto the wall again, and then you just gotta break the shield, and eventually it will start using its tail laser by jumping to the platform and uh, starting to summon it. 
So we'll get there in just a second. Uh, Cloud's going to get targeted and then he's gonna back away from the AoE field. And then we're going to break the shield, start dealing some normal damage. The boss will start thrashing. And here it will latch onto the wall one more time. It will start firing some rockets. These rockets will change the environment, so now everything's on fire, which is always fun. It'll break some of the steel up top, and then eventually it will jump to the other side towards the reactor where you place the bomb. This is your cue to run over. Now, while this is happening, the boss will charge up its tail laser. In the original version of the game, it was recommended that you do not attack during this phase um, because it will counterattack. And I don't recommend meleeing the boss, but you can sneak out of here with Barret and just start firing your weapon. He can actually reach the boss for the most part over the barrier. I do not recommend using overcharge at this point because that's more of a just a direct vertical attack. He doesn't really raise his gun arm to attack a weak point or anything. It's really just a straight shot. So while you're behind the barrier, I don't recommend using uh, overcharge. Instead, I either recommend casting magic like thunder. You know, this is a great opportunity to do that. There's really no repercussions because you're behind a barrier, not taking any damage, or just using regular uh, gunfire. And that's pretty much it. So from here, you are just going to keep rinsing and repeating everything that you've done throughout the rest of the fight. You may get your limit break ready, uh, likely with Cloud instead of Barret. Um, I used Cloud way more than I did Barret in this fight. Uh, Cross Slash will deal uh, quite a bit of damage and uh, a little bit of stagger damage. Once the boss uh, moves away, this is an opportunity for you to uh, recoup a little bit. It'll start you know, shooting some rockets. You can avoid these by paying attention to where they're going to fall on the ground, uh, but eventually some more barriers will fall. It'll start using his tail laser again. You want to sneak out with Barret, do your best to just deal a little bit of damage to him, uh, but the tail laser will come for Barret, because Barret's attacking, uh, so you want to then switch over to Cloud. This way you have an opportunity to run towards the boss. Uh, more rockets will show up, probably interrupt you, and I recommend at this stage of the game, since the stagger meter is so high, Casting Thunder again. It will be incredibly weak to this. Back out of the AoE, if you can see it, sometimes it's a little hard to see because the lighting effects in this arena are just kind of crazy, really in a good way, but uh, can be a little tough to see everything. When the stagger meter is about 80%, I recommend using Focus Thrust with Cloud, and this will just fully stagger the boss, and it will start to go crazy again, blowing up more of the arena. It's gonna look like it's about to die, but you still have a bit more work to do. At this stage of the fight, it will heal up a little bit, and it will expose its weak points, which are its legs. So what you want to do here is just focus one leg with both characters, use your limit breaks, use your abilities, use thunder, just break one leg, and then you can more or less just destroy the rest of the boss very, very easily. Uh, just focus whatever leg looks good to you, and you only need to take down one. But once you do take that one down, uh, that's kind of the end of the fight. So as you can see here, we're gonna cast thunder, the boss goes down, and at this point it really cannot attack you. Um, it may fire rockets at this point, uh, it may try to thrash around and hit you, but I've never actually taken damage during this phase. Uh, but after that, you'll get a full stagger, and you can just keep wailing on the boss, finish it with a braver to be flashy, and that's it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment, I'll do my best to help you out. You can also join my new community Discord, the link for that is in the video description below. If you're looking for more guides for Final Fantasy VII Remake, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. And if you want to support the channel monetarily, please become a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've gotta move. <laughs>